What's up everybody? It's your boy Lev. Well, long time no see. <laughs> Today is a pretty special video, or at least it is to me, because not only am I finally uploading on a day that I would say that I uploaded. Uh, it is a conversation that I've kind of wanted to have, and I guess I'll have it with the people who watch this video. So thank you for engaging. <laughs> so yesterday I beat Fable Anniversary. It made me think, you know, nobody really talks about Fable anymore. And I mean, it's kind of obvious why. The multitude of RPGs that have come out that have kind of overshadowed everything from before Skyrim. <laughs> Today we are going to be talking about my top 5 RPGs that nobody talks about anymore, but I would 10 out of 10 recommend for anybody to play. Let's get into it. <laughs> okay, number 1 of course is Fable. And yes, I'm talking about the complete series. Number 1, 2, and 3. The story follows a boy who is born into a family that's pretty poor, like down in the trenches, like he's just a little farm boy, and born into a village where everybody's like pretty poor. I'm not going to try to give any spoilers, so I'm just going to say that it follows the story of that family that has pretty significant bloodline, growing from rags to riches, literally being royalty, by the third one. I think that's sufficient without giving away too much. <laughs> In my opinion, it is a really good balance of story, gameplay, humor, and graphics, especially for the times that these games were released. There's a bunch of other things you can do other than the story. You can marry, of course, to whoever you want, basically. As long as they can be wooed, you can woo them. Other than uh, same-sex, in the regards of, I think there's like one gay guy per town. And I think they're pretty all like really bougie, like hard to impress or whatever. Anywho, you can buy buildings in which you can either rent them out, live there with your spouse, or sell them. Renting them out, either a family or merchants will move into it and every few days or whatever, rent money will appear and then you can go get some shmany. <laughs> there is a multitude of side quests pretty good for a game that old, you know what I mean? Specifically, most RPGs around that time, they were just not into side quests. You, you did the story and that was it. Moving on. Number two is Dragon Age. And yes, again, I'm talking about the entire series. It is a story that blew my mind. I literally cannot tell you anything about it without Spoily stuff. That's how in-depth this story is. The combat is different, but in a good way. It's one of the first of its kind where your responses and actions affect what happens. Like the story is yours depending upon the choices you make. And of course, for the times these games came out, hello? <laughs> the graphics are actually pretty good. And that's basically all I have to say about Dragon Age. Number three is Billy Eggcatcher, and yes, we're talking about GameCube. I don't hear anybody talking about this, but this is like a huge part of my childhood, so I'm going to talk about it and you're going to listen. The story follows a boy who hatches eggs. <laughs> Literally, you go through different worlds hatching eggs, and there's different pets and powers and stuff that you could use to advance through the levels, and there's hidden stuff this that or the other but it's just a really good game for the time that it came out the graphics were mm, scrumptious the story is really cute and the music oh my god the music is great don't even get me started on the music oh my god 10 out of 10 would recommend specifically billy egg hatcher to absolutely anybody that takes us to number four which is dark cloud formerly known as dark chronicle but when it moved into the United States, they made the name Dark Cloud, which is Dark Cloud 1 and Dark Cloud 2. Both of them, so good. Dark Cloud 1 is definitely the more difficult one because it had a hunger and thirst system. It is a dungeon-based game that also has village building, world building, you know what I mean? Basically, this Dark Genie awakens and is raining literal hell down upon the world and snatches everybody up. Their belongings, their houses, 
All of them. It's gone. Everybody gone. Of course, your mission is to go through these dungeons, get these pieces and these people in their houses and place them together. And what's really cool is you can get extra stuff by talking to the people and asking them where they want to be, who they want to be by, where they don't want to be, who they don't like and stuff like that. And it's just it's just a really cool concept. Number two is like the same thing, but with better graphics and not as hard because it doesn't have a hunger and thirst system. Let's talk about it because the main character is in Dark Cloud 2 is voiced by none other than Robin from the original Teen Titans. Mwah. Perfection. And that takes us to the last one. Number five. We're taking it back with this one, boy. I tell you what, it's what formed my love for RPGs. And that would be Golden Axe on the Sega, I think. Pretty sure it was on the Sega. Like, it's like a Genesis. <laughs> I can't tell you much about the story. All I know is that the music is lovely. And for a game of its time, the combat is great. Like, I'm pretty sure it paved the way for Elder Scrolls to be as good as it was. Actually, for any RPG nowadays to be as good at it as it is. I will throw in that those are the ones that I love that are not talked about. I do really love Elder Scrolls. I do really love Legend of Zelda. I do love Kingdom Hearts, okay? Don't try me. <laughs> Don't play me, boy. I played Morrowind on the original Xbox. Who are you? <laughs> Make sure and give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. It helps me in the digital world. It helps me in pursuit of my dreams and aspirations of my preferred and dream career. And it would mean the world to me. I don't know how to do outros. Can you tell? <laughs> I don't know how to do any of this. What am I talking about? Thank you so much. I will see you guys Thursday. Drop a comment. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want to talk about. Let me know some, if you want to hear my opinions on other things. But yeah. Bye. Jazz hands. Bye. <laughs>